Hello folks and welcome back to another Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers video. My name is Loku and today we're gonna cover all the heal type jutsu that we know of so far. We've seen four characters use heal type jutsu. Sakura, Hinata, Shikamaru and the custom shinobi from Gamescom. So we have three mentors so far and our custom shinobi who is already using some of those mentors abilities. But before we dive into this, I want to say that calling these characters healers or heal type, it's a bit misguided and I hate it. If this type was called the support type, most of our problems would disappear. For instance, Hinata. She's not a healer, she's a Hyuga. Hyuga are scouts because of the Byakugan they can see from far away, and if this type was called a support, we would all accept this a lot better, but now it's super weird calling Hinata a healer. Another example, Shikamaru. Shikamaru is not a healer. He's a tactician, he can hang back and provide support, the best support for his team, but he's not a healer. And the game knows this, because not all healer types actually have abilities that heal, but just support their team. So calling all of these characters heal types, I think it's very very dumb, but at the end of the day, it's just a name and we can't get too mad at it, I guess. <laughs> okay, with the rant out of the way, let's look at Sakura's abilities first. First up we have the Cherry Blossom Clash, also known as Chanaro! Sakura punches the ground dealing heavy damage to anyone it hits and according to the official description of the ability it can also paralyze all targets in an area. So we kick off our heal type jutsu video with an offense ability. Showing that heal types are more than just healers and that's why we should call them support. Moving on to some actual healing, Sakura's second ability is the Cellular Extraction Jutsu. This is an area of effect healing that not only recovers health, but also removes any negative effects, or as we gamers call it, debuffs, stuff like poison or burning or slows, etc. The healing is nothing impressive, but since it also removes the debuffs, it could be used to counter some specific enemy builds. We haven't seen a lot of it, but there might be some Jutsu that don't deal a lot of direct damage, but deal heavy damage as a debuff, or just debuffs that are plain annoying and this would be the jutsu to counter that. And finally, Sakura's secret jutsu is the ninja art mitotic regeneration. This is an ability that can instantly revive unconscious allies within range and completely restore their health. Unfortunately, we haven't seen it properly used yet, but that's what the description says, so nothing to do but believe what the game actually says, right? So when you die, I usually it takes around 10 seconds for you to respawn and this ability will allow you to get back in action without waiting at all. It's just like Mercy's ultimate from Overwatch before the latest changes. Mercy only revives one dude now and this ability revives everyone within range. Next we move on to another character, let's look at Hinata's abilities. First up it's the trademark ability from the Hyuga clan, the Byakugan. This is a scouting ability that allows you and your entire team to see opponents through walls. It also makes it easier to distinguish clones from the real players and because the effect is so simple some people were actually disappointed because it doesn't seem like a very powerful ability but I think depending on the game modes that they announce for the future this could actually be a really good asset to have on pretty much any team. Especially because every character on the team also gets the Byakugan vision when you activate it. Next Hinata also has the Gentle Fist which is also a trademark from the Hyuga clan and in this game I think this is pretty much a projectile ability. Hinata expels energy from from the palm of her hand hitting an enemy at a distance, showing that heal types can also have some ranged attacking abilities. And her secret jutsu seems to be the gentle step twin lion fists. The name's not confirmed yet, but I believe that's what it's called in the anime, so that's what I'm calling it now. We'll see if they keep that translation for the game, or if they go with something simpler, like Lion Fists, that's probably good enough, right? But it seems very similar to the Gentle Fist. It's a projectile, it travels in a straight line, but it seems bigger than the Gentle Fist, so it has the potential to hit more opponents, and we also have to assume that this deals more damage. We can't really confirm at the moment that this is a secret jutsu, but if we assume the previous two abilities are ninjutsu, then this has to be a secret jutsu for Hinata. She has three abilities, two have to be ninjutsu and one has to be a secret jutsu, and if one of them is a secret jutsu, then I think this is the one. Moving on to Shikamaru, as we would expect, he's got some shadow manipulation techniques. First up is shadow stitching, which is a ranged ability that paralyzes multiple opponents. The shadow will travel through the ground and catch whoever is in front of you, but this paralysis is pretty fast, so if you're gonna combo this with someone else's ability, you're gonna need to communicate, you're gonna need impeccable timing on this thing. I haven't found Shikamaru's second ability, so we're missing an ability for Shikamaru at the moment, but I believe we've got his secret jutsu as well, which is a variant of the shadow stitching that he used against Hidan. I'm gonna call it shadow bombs for now, 
until we have an official name, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be called Shadow Bombs when the game comes out. Like many other secret jutsu, it takes a while to activate, there's a very long animation that takes place during which your opponents can dodge out of the way, if they're not dumbasses like these two, they are just running at the character. But if it connects, your opponents become trapped, and then the footage cuts off. So I don't know if there's a big explosion or something. I'd be pretty disappointed if I don't see some explosions. Have you seen how many exploding tags are in there? That's enough to blow up the entire stage. There better be some explosions. So Shikamaru's abilities actually seem to focus on paralyzing your opponent. And I think that's really, really cool. He's a character with a clear focus. And I think those characters make for the best mentors. Because once you, you pick someone as a mentor, you know exactly what to expect from them. And we've got one final ability that we've seen in trailers and on Gamescom as well. It's the Mystical Palm Technique. This is also a healing ability. It restores HP to anyone who is within range of your character. But unlike the Cellular Extreme, Extraction Jutsu, it's not a burst of healing, but a channeled one. Your character is stuck in this animation while healing other characters. You can move around, but you can't really do anything else without interrupting the healing. But to make up for it, it heals really fast and lasts a long time, pretty much as long as you'd want it to. So you can fully heal an ally's HP if you so desire, with the only downside being it doesn't remove debuffs or negative effects like the Cellular Extraction Jutsu. And those are all the heal type Jutsu that we know of so far, I'm gonna bring up the list. Here you go folks, let me know what your heal type character looks like with the abilities that we have so far. Remember, you can pick two ninja two and one secret jutsu. More than the other classes, I think this one is really designed to cooperate with the others on your team. So if you've got some ideas for combos already, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of. And with that, we've covered all the jutsu that we know so far. Attack types, range, defense, and now finally healing if you've missed our previous... <laughs> So if you've missed any of those videos, click right here, make sure you don't miss them. You can only make one character, but your character can have all four types. That's something some people are confused. You can have a loadout for each different type. You're not locked to a single type, okay? If you're in the mood for something else though, I've also got this video right here. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Blobku, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.